Hello guys, this is Richard, and we're gonna today we're gonna go over the full rules for Linguistic or Wizards for the the official multiplayer rules for the Bug Slug Jug Rug Mug version of Linguistic or Wizards, which is a game crafter game available now for I think fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a very it's a very challenging game uh, when you use all of the objective cards. At least I that's what I hope, and it. The, we're going to go over the, the official rules, which are on a single page of... There's only a single page of rules. So I'll just read it aloud. Uh, linguistic or Wizards. Well, first of all, the introductory page, actually, of the rules ex introduces the the basics of the actual cards. There's five characters in every game. Um, a game has 40 characters, each showing a 40 character card, each displaying an image, a number, and a letter. A second. A number and a letter. These create valid matches on the eight objective cards, which are, which we're going to go over really fast. Um, I'm just going to read the official multiplayer rules aloud. The object of the game, the object of the game, one second. The object of the game is to collect objective cards by making valid matches. There are eight valid matches in the game, and each match is printed on its own objective card. When a player makes a valid match during the course of play, he or she will discard those cards into a discard pile and claim the objective card. Game preparation. Shuffle 40 character cards and make a grid face down. Now place the 8 objective cards face up so that all players can see and access the cards. As like so. Play turn begins in turns. Older players go first. During a turn, she or he will select one of the objective cards and challenge each during a turn, a player is going to select one of the... Uh, I'm just going to read the whole thing. I'll just read it verbatim. Older players go first. During a turn, she, he will select one of the objective cards and, cha and challenge each of the other players moving clockwise to make a valid match printed on that objective card. She, he will do this, letting all the other players have a chance to turn up three cards from the grid face of the face-down cards up before attempting to make the valid match themselves. The players who have been challenged to make the valid match by the turn player are called challenged, the challenged players. This is important because, one, if a challenged player makes a valid match, they will score one point. If the turn player makes a valid match, they will score two points. This information is recorded as follows. To indicate one point scored, the player will place the objective card face up in front of him or her. To indicate two points scored, the player will turn his or her objective card face down in front of him or her. The player who scores the most points wins. Uh, game variation. Turn players. The turn player scores three points when making a valid match. And a quick note on this rule. Before I go into this, we go over some of the gameplay. This variation is particularly good when there is a higher number of players because the turn player has to wait a significantly longer period of time before getting their chance to attempt the valid match. And because the probability of this happening is lower because there's more people playing. Okay, so in so we're just going to go over, go over those rules really fast. So imagine if I was just, we were just I was the uh, turn player starting the game out, and I would pick one of the objective cards to challenge each of the other players. Like normally throughout the course of the game, you're going to pick the card that you think you already know the match based on what already previously happened because you're just basically using your memory to make the matches. So let's go over. Uh, let's suppose I use this card, reveal, I choose this and challenge the other players to reveal a jug, a mug, and a rug. And then there's some flavor text here on the card. A detergent jug and a goldish mug were both on the brand new rug. Okay, so, but that's just some flavor text, but suppose that the first player challenged the other player to get this match. That would basically mean that the other players would have a chance to pick three cards each from the top to try to get that match, and if they were to get that match, they would score one point. And then after, but, but but if they didn't score the point, and after all the players had tried, but not the turn player, then the turn player would have a chance to get the match, and then they would score two points, or the vari variation, game variation, three points. But but they would, but basically it goes in that that order in which people are challenging each other, uh, challenging the other players during their turn to get cards to make matches on particular objective cards, and then to score car, uh, score for themselves. Um. If the other players don't get those matches. So let's just try to go with this one really fast to see if we... Suppose I was challenging everyone else to get a reveal a jug, a mug, and a rug. Alright, see if I can... Let's see. There would be a mug. That's the one that's being chosen there, but... See if I can get a jug. Okay, there is a... There is a jug too. So, all I would need now is a rug. And I don't... 
even remember the way I put these, but maybe this is a rug. Hopefully. No, it's not. It's, it's another jug. But let's suppose that... Oh, there's another mug. I mean, let's just suppose, though, that... That in the course of play, I just did... That's a slug, but... That's a bug. Jeez, I'm not... I am not very good at remembering where I place this for this example. But anyway, if you were to play... When you play the game, imagine if you were... I don't know if I should... Should have shuffled these a little bit, a little bit there. But there's a rug. Let's suppose that during the course of play, everyone had actually went, and no one was didn't nobody. Well, nobody got that match, but I was basically able to. Suppose that was the final state of things, where this was the match that scored. If you were the basically the turn player, that if everybody went and nobody, uh, if, if all the other challenge players but not uh, went, then the turn player, if they got this match, would get two points. And then, and then they would get, they would receive this, they would basically receive this by keep, keeping it face up in front of them and turning it to the side and keeping the card. So basically, that's more or less the way the game goes for the official uh, multiplayer rules. It's really a challenging game for your memory. Some of these, cha so, this particular version that I'm using here is probably one of the most challenging versions. Um, like, for example, reveal three cards that depict three different characters that are not invertebrates. And the match must sum to either six, seven, or eight. So that basically means, like this, this would be... I mean, what's this? One second. That would have been actually the match, actually, for the other one. The uh, rugs, the, the jug, the rug, and the mug. But this basically would be basically three different characters that were not the bug. Uh, three different characters that are not invertebrates would just be just the three different characters... That are like right here it would be the mug, the jug, and the rug. Sorry, mug. Yeah. Mug, jug. Okay, yeah, but it would be, and it would have to, it would have to sum up to six, seven, or eight. And in this case, it would sum up to eight. So this would actually be a match. It would sum up to eight. But if it were one of the lower sums, that would just kind of almost by chance, though. But it was either six, seven, or eight. But in that case, it worked because it just worked. Um, just because I turned it up, but it could have been. So yeah, when well, we're going to play some other versions of this game in future videos, so thanks for watching this video for the official rules, how to play the official um, multiplayer version of the game, but I'm <clears throat> trying to, yeah, it all fits on one, it's pretty handy, it's on one uh, sheet, the, uh, the the other ways to play the game are all on the PDF file, which you can download for free on thegamecrafter.com, thanks for watching this video.